the whales should be back. I keep hoping we'll see them. Betty Davis and Lillian Gish, two of the screen's greatest legends, together for the first time. You could have taken a booby prize at any cattle shop. <laughs> it's life with sisters Libby and Sarah. Just think it's 46 years. Talking to yourself. Uh, yes. Girls! Girls! Mr. Marinoff is here! A celebration of the human spirit. It's a pleasure to see you again, Mrs. Strong. He's the only man left who bows. I have found you out. You are a romanticist. He's so cute. I could forgive him anything. You know what would be nice? A big picture window here instead of these two. We're too old to be considering new things. A story that explores the essence of human dignity. I don't know what to do about Libby. I'm afraid it's her mind. Just a touch of November in my bones. It's a film you'll never forget. Do you like it? Lovely. I'm so glad. <laughs> Two time Academy Award winner, Betty Davis. There is no need to make whoopee every other minute. The First Lady of American Cinema, Lillian Gish. You can choose death if you like to, but life is not yet over for me. Ann Southern and Vincent Price. The true glory of the cinema, remarks Vincent Canby of the New York Times. Rex Reed calls it a cinematic masterpiece. Lillian Gish and Betty Davis should have Oscar-seeing doubles, says People Magazine's Peter Travers. Do you think one can live too long? Life can never be too long. Life fools you. It always does. The Whales of August. It's a story of hope.